All right, you guys, what is up? Sure, Goblin here, and hang on one, just one second. I'm gonna, there we go. All right, you guys, what is up? Sure, Goblin here, and on today's video, I have a box. It just arrived in the mail. I had to cut off the video early just a second ago. I'm gonna re release that one first. So now you guys know what I had gotten. And once again, I don't have a freaking knife. Oh, I'm going to use this little fella. Haven't used this guy in a while. Quite some time. And I've had him for a very long time, so without further ado, let's get him in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, you guys. I was afraid that I, at first I was really terrified when I saw the Walmart box. Because I was terrified that it might just be another loose package, like the Obi-Wan. It came in a bag. I thought this is what it was going to be, but it's not. It's actually in its own box. And this is the size right here, which let me back up some so you guys can see. There we go. Now, also, when you guys are handling knives, like I've said in plenty of my other videos, always be careful and cut away from yourselves. Not cut towards yourselves. Wow. I, guys, I've... At first, whenever I saw these, I was like, wow, he did a really good job on this. <sighs> Here it is, you guys. Pin... The PNSO Alpha T Rex. Or is it the. No, wait, it's not the PNSO. I don't know. I'll, I'll put a link if you guys want to buy one of these guys down in the description box down below. I'll send a link. Nanmu. Nanmu. That's it. That's the company name. Nanmu. They make amazing dinosaur figures and this is the Jurassic Park Lost World Alpha T-Rex and look at that beautiful artwork look at that just the front I love the front on the back you have the Nanmu uh, logo which it's I think it's Chinese or Japanese I can't tell you guys let me know down in the comments down below on this side you have a little logo other side, same, bottom, not much. And then on the top, same old, same old. So, without further ado, alright, you guys, let's get into this. I kind of want you guys to be able to see me. And I want to save this box because. going to be putting it back in the box but it comes with a beautiful artwork which hang on let me get this thing out so you guys can get a better look at it this may be by far one of the most expensive dinosaurs I ever bought and I may get another one later on in the future but for now I'm not. So it comes with a very, very beautiful artwork right there. I love that. Like, it truly is beautiful. Um, I wonder if it's brown, though. I don't want to take a look yet. Because I'm way too excited about this. I want to take my time on this video. And then you have Tyrannosaurus Rex, and you have an amazing artwork job. <sighs> like, look at that. That's amazing. 
And then on the back, you just have, I think, Japanese gibberish. I don't really know if you guys can tell. But, yeah. So far, this has truly been worth it. And then right here, I have the package. So let's, let's take a look. Okay. So first things first, it comes with a human. <laughs> it comes with an Owen Grady. Then that raptor, like that thing in Jurassic World, whenever he had to uh, get control of his raptors before they ate somebody for the first time. Which I think they did, which is why he said, you ever wonder why they had a job opening? Like, look at that. It's pretty good. Although, I wish there was kind of a little bit of paint on him, but other than that, pretty good detail. Let's set you on over to the side. And here he is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys. Wow. Wow. They... Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at this. I'm glad I can that I can now see what it truly looks like. This was worth it in the end. I mean, he may be small. But, oh my goodness, his teeth are absolutely amazing. Look at that. Every flesh and detail put into this dinosaur has been 100% amazing. And look at that face. That's the face of a killer. Wow. Oh my goodness, his teeth are sharp, you guys. Look at that. Look at that amazing detail on the teeth. Each teeth, razor sharp. Like, this is not a toy. Like, its teeth are individually sculpted. And look at that. Like, you got some good gloss for the top of the mouth. Like, and then you have the bottom jaw. The tongue was nicely glossed and everything. Like, look at that. That is truly amazing. And then on the underbelly, you have... Well, you have the feet, you have a cream color for the belly. Wow, you guys, this, this was worth it. And you know what? I may get another one of these guys. I may get a female or something. I'm not sure yet, but... $200 for this. That was worth it for me. I mean, heck, Mattel has done a good job with their figures and stuff. But I don't think they could be as accurate as this when it comes to accuracy and sculpt. And look at them teeth. Look at that. That's amazing. Look at that. That's beautiful, you guys. Truly is amazing. And that is the Bull T-Rex. The fingernails have been beautifully painted and everything. 
And I love the different colors and the scales and stuff. And I love the stripe work done to this. That is the T-Rex that I've always wanted. And to now say that I actually have one. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, guys, that those teeth are razor sharp. Like, I could easily cut myself on one of them. In fact, sometimes I'm actually wondering if they ever used real teeth. Nanmu, if you guys ever watch my video, can you let me know whether or not you guys use real teeth? Because if you guys did, that is amazing. Although I don't think they did. I think they just dyed them, sculpted them with clay or something. But wow, you guys, that is... That's awesome. That's a dinosaur from Jurassic Park, The Lost World. That is amazing. Truly amazing. And then you have the different, uh, then you have the feet. In fact, I actually want to see if he is about as big as my Parvosaurus. No, he's a little bit bigger. Comparison size. But he's not as big as the Thrasher. The Thrash and Throw T-Rex or the Indominus Rex. But he is amazing. I love the sculpt. Even though my mom's probably going to pitch a fit. But I don't care. It was worth it in the end for me. And like I promised, Kayleen, when you see this video... I will be putting him back in the box once I show him off to my mom. So, yeah. But, let me just put him back. But yeah, amazing sculpt, you guys. 10 out of 10 for Nanmu. Nanmu, you guys are doing a good job on these figures. I couldn't have asked for a better figure. Like, I thought I was going to get something a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. But I got the perfect size for my shelf. And I will be putting them up on my shelf, I think. But for now, until I can get some more room on my shelf, he's going to stay in the box. Until I can decide what what, what I want to do with him. But, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to be getting some good photos of him. Post them on Facebook and everything. And, yeah. So, without further ado... I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys were excited as much as I was. Because I've i always wanted to get one of these guys. Ever since I watched one of Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Which, that's the name of a channel. If you guys don't know. Go check him out. I'll maybe put his link down in the, bio, in the description. Maybe, perhaps. Um, and, in fact, I think I can. Yeah, I can. And... Oh, and then you guys can subscribe to him and watch some more of his uh, dinosaur reviews. He does anything dinosaurs related, whether it's antique or or just very like old dinosaurs to the Nanmu, any type of dinosaur and stuff, even even the Mattel. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys smash that like button, I'm hoping to get maybe ten likes. If I can. Maybe even more. Um, and for those of you guys who are new. If you guys are interested. Please hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys later. Share Goblin out.